Om Shanti, today is your 59th day of your Vardhan. A very powerful Vardhan where Baba actually compares the worldly aspects and then tries to explain us how our meditation should be. How powerful should our connection be with God the Father? Because this is the last of the last of the last Yuga or the age or the Iron Age or the last few births or the last few years which are remaining for the Kalyuk to end. Now before that happens, if we haven't actually remembered Baba and cleansed our past of all those different vices and different sins which we have done, whether it's of this birth, whether it's of our past lives. So Baba says that we need to be in constant connection and for that to happen it's just like comparing it to an electric wire and a current passing through it. Let's get into details and find out what exactly Baba says. So Baba says, may you be a constantly victorious conqueror of Maya. Now Maya, we have been listening for a very long time. Maya means anything impure in the mind. Looking at other people's negativity, talking about it, comparing yourself, having ill thoughts about somebody or having any form of greed or ego or jealousy or many more negativities. That's all equivalent to Maya. So Baba says, may you be a constantly victorious conqueror of Maya by experiencing a current with your unbroken connection. Now this current is the current of meditation. So Baba explains, the power of electricity gives such a current that a person is thrown far away by that shock. Haven't you seen that? Haven't you experienced that sometimes? Well, in the same way, let godly power throw Maya far away. Maya means when we are in connection with God the Father, in complete connection, there is a ray of power which is flowing into us. The light of God flows into us through which all the impurities which are there in our thoughts, they get cleansed away and anything negative or the ghosts of negativity, of impurity, they are thrown far away from our mind. So then Baba says, in the same way, let godly power throw Maya far away. Let there be such a current. However, the basis of that current is your connection to whom? To Baba. Our connection has to be very strong. If Suppose you are remembering him for a minute and then you forget him for an hour. Then the connection isn't that strong. It's like connecting a wire, switching it on for an hour, trying to charge your mobile phone and then switching it off. Imagine what's going to happen to a mobile phone, right? So the mobile phone battery is going to go bad. Same here, the soul, the battery is going to go bad. But we need to keep on increasing this connection. So Baba says, while walking and moving around, while walking and moving around, keep your connection forged with the Father at every second. Now that's the final stage where we are completely connected to God the Father. But we have to increase the number of seconds in which we are connected to God throughout the day. Now we get engaged into our work, we get busy with our jobs or with the household work or with the business or thinking about the future or thinking about what happened in the past and that's where Baba says, when you come to Brahma Kumaris, I help you to get rid of all these unnecessary waste thoughts so that you can concentrate upon me on the basis of the knowledge which you have attained. So that knowledge actually helps us to make our mind focused. Focus on whom? Focus on God the Father because we have had many sins which are lingering upon us and these sins in our mind, in our intellect are making us heavy and we need to get rid of them only through meditation on God the Father or the Creator. So while walking and moving around, that's how we need to do. Keep your connection forged with the Father. That's how we meditate. It's not just that we have to sit down by crossing our legs and that's the only method of meditation. Well, we learn over here how to meditate even while working, cooking, sleeping. Yes, even while sleeping, you can actually be subconsciously connected to God. Even while driving, even while being on a walk to your office or to anywhere where you're going. Even in a market which is full of so many people, that it's difficult to even listen to yourself or the next door or the, or the next person who's just walking next to you. 
So in a crowded market too, you can actually be in a peaceful state of meditation with God. So Baba says, let there be such an unbroken connection that you receive a current and become a victorious and conqueror of Maya. So sometimes when you're meditating and your meditation goes very well, you feel as if you're feeling a complete jerk in your body because of the current which flows through. You have your hair which is just standing statically thinking and feeling as if some current has just passed through your spine. So that kind of emotion or that kind of current or that kind of power you can actually feel when you're meditating on God. That's your highest stage. It's the point where you've reached your highest stage at that particular time. And that form of meditation when you learn at Brahma Kumaris, you feel completely relaxed and lighter because some changes have happened when that form of current you have experienced in your body, in your mind. So, do come over and learn that meditation. And for now, I leave you with this beautiful Vardhan. Om Shanti.